My name is Raphael Klein. Uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to an exhibition I've got at Zari Gallery in London. It's called Paradise. And my work for the longest time has dealt with our relationship to nature. And these are two figures that have nature within the figure. This is something that's recurred many times in mythology. Uh, it, it's also something that we're very aware of now, how we're not a separate from nature, we have suddenly realized that nature is formed by us, both psychologically, in the way we visualize nature, and the way we create it, the way we make nature do what we want it to. So these are two figures that are engulfed, defined, and twined with nature. So coming along with this idea of the figure being engulfed, taken over by nature, us being united with nature. Again, these are things that we've seen very many times in uh, mythology and Ovid's metamorphoses about us changing into trees. Uh, in many ways, we are just like a tree. The branches sometimes feel just like our own circulation running through our veins. We're, we're rooted to the ground just like trees. Uh, we admire the longevity of trees. And for this reason, it gives us a lot of peace and quiet inside. So these, these pieces continue that idea of the, the unity between us and trees, or nature in general. In my work as an artist, I've always been very aware of the fact that I'm taking nature and remodeling it, remolding it to my own vision. And so this is something that uh, gives you a great feeling of power. But in fact, it's a deception because we don't really change nature. We create another piece, something new, and we are still bounded by nature. And this is why, in a way, I do the figure engulfed again by nature. And once again, the inner workings of the body seem to be echoed in the way the, the branches and leaves form inside a plant. So this is, again, one of my pieces from a series called Family Tree. How we're connected to one another, but even more importantly, we're in the family of nature as well. So coming on from this idea of nature being within us, I've stepped back a little bit in some of the works that I've got in this exhibition in which the nature is so overpoweringly beautiful and so stupendous that we have to step back from it a bit. And so this is almost like a, a too idyllic landscape. This is based on a road trip I took to California uh, in the uh, desert, in the mountains, absolutely beautiful. And something very intense, very overpowering about the landscape. As people say, it makes you feel small. Um, but somehow it's still something which uh, affects us internally. Just as the, the sculptures show nature entering into us and being part of us, this too gives us a feeling that we are looking at nature, but it's all within our own personal experience so that it becomes part of us. But then, as I developed the ideas of these sculptures a bit more and the paintings, I suddenly came across this idea that the nature itself was so impactful and so overpowering that the skies were so tremendous and the, the, the natural formations of these nice formations, uh, prehistoric the age of this landscape, it made me think how small and how insignificant. And here I am as an artist trying somehow to make my own vision to implant it on this nature. And I think that's the irony, the sense of what does an artist do when he, he takes such a massive amount of beauty in nature and put it into his own vision. So this eventually made me think about how, as people, we also try to impose uh, our own idea about paradise onto nature, so that we try to, to change nature, we try to alter it, we try to live within it in places that maybe are not that conducive. And that's where this painting comes in, which is based on what happened shortly after I visited California, which was paradise itself burning to the ground. And the fires and the sense of a drought and climate change, these things are all in some way connected to the fact that we want nature to do what we want. And sometimes it just doesn't cooperate.